Look at his ring. TCH Texas Crazy Horse Heath Herring. Emilianenko Fedor. Mm -hmm. Do you know a lot of people in the States by the name of Emilianenko? No. <laughs> not one. You? That's when you know you're not. It's probably like Smith and, you know, Rutten. Yes, and uh, like herring in Holland. We would eat herring there. <laughs> and actually, he is, is eating it. He loves it, he said. He told me. Which is very healthy. That's really uh, a Star Wars. Down. That is not a very super smart move there. No, he, he gave this guy what this guy wanted because he theoretically would have wanted to stand up and throw knees and kicks. But he went in, was it a front kick or a knee? Well, he's, he's working from the bottom and, and uh, Emilian Anko. to escape. Emilian Anko. Yes, he's going for a knee bar. And Whoa. Fedor gets out, Fedor on top. A lot, a lot of scurrying there. He almost got out from under the bottom, but now he's on the bottom of this guy, who's a Jew. Yep, you don't want to eat those. No, Too I many. think that's, that's especially that right hand that he ended the combination with. Fedor cracking Herring again. Moving through the side yeah. like it's nothing. Yeah, but Herring didn't do anything to prevent that either. Yeah. Going to go for a submission. Herring, Herring will escape and go back to his feet. Something like that. But Fedor just Whoa. cracked him Look two this. times. Is, is Harry hurt here? It looked like it. Yep. He, yeah, he's hurt. It was, it was the left hook. He's got to do something now. And Fedor just pounding away in a position to throw some knees. In bad shape. And that was from the right hand. He's got a big cut. Yeah, he's got a big cut. Emelianenko Fedor in the eye exam. That's a nasty little mouse under the left eye of Heath Herring, though. Yeah. And that was from the right hand. Got me, Mick. Hard, and then eating some punches, including that right hand there, and Fedor blasting away. And those are some good shots. Yeah, this is shades of Igor Vovchanchin at his finest. Look at those. Except for this guy can wrestle. Okay, wow. we're gonna get the restart. Nice. Referee Yuji Shimada restarts the fighters, and Heath going high with a left roundhouse kick. Right leg roundhouse kick to the body of Fedor. Fedor trying to counter, and Fedor jumping in and suplexing oh, wow. Keith Herring. Unreal. He picked. I said, watch this guy. He's very good, but he is getting up here. I hope for him. He's got to get up. He cannot take more of those punches that he ate before. Those, you don't want to take too many. Well, I had said it before that Emilianenko is here for a reason. He's not here as a, as a gimme to Heath Herring, obviously. Both these guys deserve packing the badge and the gun is Emilianenko Fedor. Oh, and he's doing it good. He should escape, he should buck, he should escape, he should try. Oh, what a huge left hook! Oh, and he's turning away. I don't know, that's not a good sign. No, he no. wants to go for that knee bar again, it looks. But I don't know if that's a good idea. Heath, yes, you see. Oh. But don't count Heat out. I'm not going to count him out. But <laughs> oh, no. Right now, I mean, it's, I'm not counting him in because he's he's really taking a beating here. Yes. And there's the knee. Oh. <laughs> this this really surprises me that he just can't seem to get started. Yep. Same thing here. It's almost like a, it's, a, it's a game plan, but it didn't work. Like, take it easy the first uh, five minutes or something, but it <laughs> if Fedor I, is yeah. mauling around. Yeah, I mean, th this guy is just mauling him. Fedor seems to have all the answers here. He's quick. That's the thing. That's the difference here. The difference is the quickness. And, and, he, and he jumps so easy out, out of the guard, go to the side. At six foot one, 227 pounds. This guy is all over Heath Herring right now. And we may have a real arm bar. Ooh, and a sweep, arm bar sweep. Good control here by Fedor. Wow. 
This is basically a flawless example of ground control by the man from Russia. Okay. And for a guy that's bigger than you, like Heath Herring, because it would be easy to throw him off and get uh, top control uh, with I mean, an ankle on the bottom. I think he should stay with side control or half mount. But he's taking his time here. He's done quite a bit of damage so far. I'm wondering what instructions Herring is going to be getting once he gets to the corner. I think, um, oh, he's going for the... Ooh, that's some power shots, guy's man. got some serious power from the guard. You can just feel those punches. You know what it is? The short, compact fighters can get more velocity because they don't have the long limbs. Yes. Whereas a guy like Herring... Yep. He should see, try to get back on his feet and then use the front kick. Oh, what a right hand! Fedor is it's left. It's gonna be a long three minutes for Heath, I'm telling you. Yeah, he's, in, he's gotta get out of this position. He can't see the punches coming, and Fedor is gonna keep digging those shots to the side of Heath's head. Out of position. What is he gonna do? This is an escape, and now he's going to the back door like he always did, see? Whoa. Yes, I think so too. I mean, he, he's really, he's gonna have to regroup. Uh-oh. And this is not good. This could be everything, it could be even into an armbar. Yeah, because this guy has submitted a couple of guys. There have been a couple of guys who can fight from the guard and, and hurt people. Gary Goodridge, Don Fry, Igor Bovchanchin. And now this guy joins that alumni of a man who can really pound guys at a short distance. Uh-oh. This could be the trick for him to get out. No. Fedor's got too much control. Step out to Pegor and stand up. That would be the only thing for him. I hope. He, he no. looks like he's ready to quit. Yes. Here. I would have to say, from what I've seen so far of Emilia and Ankle Fedor in this fight, I finally we see Heath on top. Wow. And he better start mulling now because he's got only one minute left. Talk about guts. Right when we were getting ready to count Heath Herring out, he's got north-south. Fedor's in a bad position, but Fedor pounding away. Fedor turning. Heath is looking fresh. His face maybe doesn't, but he's looking fresh. So God knows what round number two is going. Whoa, there we go. If Fedor blew all of his gaskets in that first round, whoa is right. That was nine-tenths the Russian and one-tenth at the end, the American fighter Heath Herring going back to his corner all busted up. Fedor put him through the meat grinder in that fight. Thank God that Heath Herring's hair looks a little bit like his face, so it doesn't, it, it, it kind of matches. It's straight out of Hellraiser, straight out of Evil Dead 3, whatever, Heath Herring. And Heath Herring could do little more than cover up most of the time, but he was able to weather the storm and near the end, after reversing and trying to get into a comfortable position, trying to get out of the way of those bombs. In with that left kick, of which set up that beautiful takedown. That was awesome. And the deck, the doctors are really gonna look close at Heath Herring right now. But he, Amelia Nanko Fedor has beat the big man. He defeated Heath Herring. The fight was stopped after round one. We're gonna find out if it was doctor or referee stoppage. But as we said before, the doctors were looking really close at Heath because Fedor, I'm telling you, Boss, I don't know that I've ever seen a more destructive fight. Really looking forward now to see him fight Noguera. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is gonna be an awesome.